Hello, viewers. Welcome, 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 and fellow players to the District 17 Official Players Guy. I'm the witch of District 17. Call me whatever the fuck you want. I really don't care. All right, y'all. It's been four months since I've done a reading like this. The last one, King of Pentacles Reverse. Someone feels like they're being owed shit, and I think that it's time for that debt to be fucking paid, or for someone to lose their goddamn head, because at this point, it's like, I actually got inspired to, uh, let me turn this down some, because I'm yelling a lot, because I'm excited, right? But, um... I, I stopped the readings for this four months ago. I have no idea why. But as of late, I've seen that I need to continue this because there's some of us who have been in stagnation. And we need the guide for chapter number six. We're starting with the King of Pentacles. You might feel owed or someone might feel like you owe them something. Either or. A little bit of uh, terminology we're going to go through. NPCs are people that are non-playable characters. They can be without souls. They can only play a role within the matrix of the universe. Because this is a guide for the game that we all know as life. Right? So you could be dealing with people with no souls, no intentions of really helping you. They, you just click on them and they're just like, Hello, would you like to join a quest today? And then they give you a quest and then you go on your way and, and shit like that. But they don't play really a significant portion in your life. There's aggro, where it's like aggravation. When you fucking aggro the NPCs, much like in World of Warcraft or any other video game, then as soon as you get close to them and they see you, they're gonna try to pose some sort of threat or some sort of obstacle to you. There are hidden levels, bonuses, influences, treasures, enemies, bosses with their weaknesses, spoils, and also the next chapter within your guide, right? No real reason to call for the signs because this resonates with anybody who is on this path in this matrix of life. We are all cogs in the machine. Let's see if we become a much more important piece as it is. If it resonates with you, cool. If not, you just boop your nose, away it goes because fuck it. It doesn't matter. We're on a mission, everybody. So, let's lay out these cards. The energy guiding you right now, players. Thoughts and prayers don't fucking work. Thoughts and prayers feel like they aren't working with you. What is influencing this energy, y'all? Ace of Wands, it feels like there's no new beginning to be started. What do the NPCs or NPC around you see? No love with the Ace of Cups. What is their aggro trigger? Or what's going to trigger them to attack you? Three of Wands, excuses. Or expecting excuses for you to stay, even though there's a boat right here, I feel like. Cheat codes and walkthroughs. Cheat codes and walkthroughs are like... Kind of like guiding posts or things that'll let you know how to get through a level a lot faster. This is like level number six in a video game. Imagine like you're in a diff Or like Mario, for example. Um, you could be on world number six, world number five, and this is going to be basically a position where, uh... If you need a little bit of guidance, or you need to figure out how something could work, or you just want to get an advancement that you're really not supposed to have, like uh, endless money, endless lives, this is where, this is the position that'll help you figure it out. So what's the cheat codes and walkthroughs? Temperance Reverse could be with an Aquarius, even though Temperance is really like Sagittarius's card, but fuck it, this is Dolly, right? Lack of patience, lack of connection, lack of understanding. Look at over here. Mmm. Everybody, players, whatever these NPCs are look when they see that you aren't giving love, their response is to try to keep things open, keep excuses going, keep a door open, uh, wait for something, right? But like your cheek on walkthrough is nah. How much patience should I have to keep pouring the cup back and forth? I want to, I want a drinky poo. Like I'm thirsty. Hidden levels, bonuses, or influences, players. Death. Hmm. Yeah, you don't have any thoughts and prayers for this situation, even though it's like someone's continuing to sit there and try to write to you, hey, hold on to me, but it's like, it's time to let this shit go. Hidden treasures and enemies. It could be something that's valuable, or it could be something that might come to threaten or attack you, players. Page swords! Hmm. Someone trying to extend an olive branch, even though they got a knife there. They're just like, look, let's not kill this bush. 
let's um you know try to work on it but at the same time the intuition is kicking in as a little birdie. It's even dressed in blue like the bitch, and it's like snitching like quack, 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 and the person's like, oh, is that really what they're saying, you know? So you're picking that up very well, players. You're picking up that this person wants you to stick around, but you're also paying attention to what they're not saying, or what they're trying to say, or they're being a hypocrite, you know? Final boss and their weakness. Ten of Cups. Two people who are probably drunk. This guy, like, definitely is, um... Way more drunk than this bitch. She's kind of like, uh -huh. I mean, like, you're here, so I guess so. Shoves stuff under in her boobs because he thinks that she likes the attention that way, which is really, like, she's kind of turning her head adversely, being like, uh, I really don't like this as much as I thought I did. You know? If you're wondering what, uh, oh my god, these are all, like, just twisted and shit, and it's driving me nuts. Of course you're gonna just do, okay, I fixed it, I fixed it, okay. So, let's see. Spoils, item drops, and rewards, this is gonna be shit that just pops up for you to assist you out of nowhere, right? Two of Cups. Hmm. Is someone gonna get knocked up? <coughs> Holy crap. <coughs> Sorry, I drank a drink water. And I almost choked to death. Oh my god, that was terrible. Anyway. Next level spoiler. What's gonna get, what is the next chapter going to be? Wheel of Fortune reverse. Things get put to a halt. Whatever was supposed to be bred up or stunted is no longer, right? So let's go over this players. Time is fucking out. Let's see. Why are you... Why is the energy of feeling like thoughts and prayers aren't useful in a situation that's guiding you? Why is it that energy? Knight of Wands, reverse. Someone isn't taking any action or effort into something. Or that could be you, player. When it comes to this waiting game. Hmm. Is someone stalling? Because that's what it sure as fuck feels like to me. What influences this energy? This Ace of Wands is reverse right here. The initiation is being taken for a new start. We got three people in a water cooler just talking some nonsense. One's coming in being like, bitch! You will not believe the shit I just heard. It could be a group of people or whatever, right? With the King of Swords sitting right here, wondering, like, when are they gonna come back? I'm late. I wonder. Like, hmm. Once again, there's someone just sitting on their ass, players. Huh. Like, the reason why you don't feel like something's happening is because this dude's sitting on his ass while this other person's going and talking to other people. Um, knowing that this person, I feel like they got their back turned to it, but they aren't saying anything or doing anything. They're sitting with their sword. Ready to come over and say something about not doing anything and making somebody wait. Where in reality, that's a, just a fucking aggro trigger. That's like their, um... Defense mechanism is to be like, no, 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 we need to wait for something or whatever. And it's like, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Let's end this shit because that's going to reveal a, a, a bonus, an influence, or level, right? What the NPCs see with this Ace of wa Ace, Wait, yeah, Ace of Cups reverse. I almost said Ace of Waste. That didn't make any fucking sense. They might say that there's no love here, no apologies or whatever. It's causing them heartbreak, or someone might feel heartbroken. 
right? And uh, it's probably their counterpart. It might be you, player, or it could be them. And it's like, you know... They want to unleash the butterflies of death. Almost ruin shit because they aren't thinking correctly. Or you're just becoming erratic because, like... Mm. Did heartbreak drive you crazy at one point before, players? Mm. It's like, there's a heartbreak here and I don't want to deal with it, you know? It makes them erratic, it makes them crazy. However, they sit over here, or you're sitting over here, either or, noticing that like people be talking shit and nothing, somebody isn't doing shit about it. They're just sitting there waiting for someone to pop up with words. They're not really trying to uh, do anything. Like, yeah, the King of Swords is always sitting. He's always doing some shit, right? But he isn't even acknowledging this as much as he is acknowledging, like, let's not do anything. Let's just wait, you know? Which is really uh, becoming more apparent that it's like an enemy in somebody's house. And their tricks aren't working the way that it used to be, right? It's leading a bunch of confusion and nausea and shit. And someone's pointing somebody else in the wrong direction, thinking that they're a great presentation of love. Right? What's their aggro? What is their aggro trigger? The three of wands. They keep trying to produce this energy of waiting for the ships to come in or whatever. Which I will say right now, I don't give a fuck if you if you think waiting's a good idea. If all you do is wait and there's no initiation taken, like up here, if you're not putting any effort in, there's no goddamn point in fucking waiting. And I will say that to the day I die, because I am just in that mood today. Yeah, they, they keep wanting to put out this presentation that, you know, they're a great, loving person, that they have the earnest of abilities. Like it's a wish come fucking true. Well, look at the cockiness on this goddamn bastard. Hmm. Imagine that shit. You know, I'm a wish come true. I'm what you want to do. Ooh, ooh. She comes in walkthroughs. This temperance reverse. No patience, no energy. Not really wanting to keep mixing the fucking cup. You know, I want to drink the cup. I'm tired of, like, shuffling this shit back and forth. You know? It's not very inspiring for you, and it'd be better for you to just take off with this shit. That's when you get a new beginning, players, when you take off from the nonsense. Because like with the next chapter, chapter 7 coming up, the Wheel of Fortune, this shit's kind of dead. And nothing's happening with it. A bunch of sneaky shit that's been going on in the background, that might possibly get found out, or someone's going to flounder that shit. And then, someone's going to be really, really stingy with their heart, and act really immature, like an angsty teenager who's mad that you told them they have to go to bed at 10. Because they normally stay up till 1, but they got school, and it's like, ah, oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing this whole putting off sleepy time. We're going to bed, you know. They're very guarded with the shit, too. Like, they got people in the background, but so do you, player. And it's time to make a really important choice when it comes to, like, the material plane. It, it's kind of necessary at this point. Okay. Hidden levels, bosses, and influence players. No, hidden levels, bonuses, and influence, not bosses. Bosses is, uh, this card over here. Which I feel like is, like, more like, um, sentimental value. Like, you know, y'all used to be cool, but, like, I, I don't like the fact that he keeps footing shit in her tits. He always puts shit in her tits, right? This death card comes with minimal offer. Minimal! Not very fucking much at all. You know, once again, the sneaky shit just isn't working the way it used to anymore, and someone's getting all in their feels to be like, well, fine then! Da -da 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 -da. You know, coming in to like be aggressive with their words and say shit, which will possibly lead to a fucking separation regardless. When back in the day, these people were probably perfect for each other, but now people are just being stingy with their emotions, being childish with the shit. They're not m manifesting what they're wanting to manifest, and then they end up with regrets they can't get over when the message is finally delivered that someone just isn't a stable and reliable provider, if not more so, a liar. That's why they only offer, like, this little ace of pentacles, this little offer. Like, there's a dragon sleeping, but it's like, don't make him up. Here, just take this ball. You don't need to take anything else from him. Like, they don't want to put any effort in. But they'll make sweet music to make it sound good, huh? They know how to stretch the truth about some shit. Yes, they fucking do. 
They know how to make a minimum effort offer sound beautiful, but it's still page energy. It's like it only works for a certain amount of time. Like they're saying in the king energy, sitting down, worried about like, you know, not having to do anything because it gives them a period of like chilling out, but it's still like page energy regardless. Let's see. Hidden treasures and enemies. This page of swords right here, this olive branch being given out with a sword or whatever like this person could offer you an olive branch or they can offer you bullshit with the sword right they'll just give whatever that shit's of the past and it doesn't work like i was saying before it doesn't work the way it used to because someone's using that to like feed themselves you know they're trying to unbind their own issues and their own mental it problems, but they're using shit from the past to fix themselves. So what I said was getting sucked dry, and I'm not sure what that was. Ten of Cups. For the final boss and their weakness. I feel like it's a couple, but I feel like this couple just doesn't work. Like, the dude's too focused on what she's got, and she's too focused on, like, trying to get away. Like, they both stink. There's some justice to become in here. There needs to be some balance or head over heart decision. Could be with a Libra, right? And there's air all over this, too. Mm. This boss, possibly the NPCs that you were dealing with, players, they, um... They feel justified not putting too much effort into it, you know, like, hold up a minute, like, you know, it's curious how, like, he looks like he's so happy and the chick wants to just be like, oh, no, you, you kind of smell, I know I've been drinking, but so have you, but it's like they're trying to justify them not being much of a provider, putting any effort in, right? Spoils, item drops, and fucking rewards, two of cups right here. Someone get knocked up, or, like, did someone, like, implant a seed of, like, what, like, some sort of birth or something into somebody? Like, they were in an angel that just dropped by and, like, banged the chick while she's sleeping? Or banged her till she was passed out? And then, like, had to fly away? Mmm. Someone's running for their life and being like, Fuck the feels. I'm knocking all that shit over, taking my cup. I'm going somewhere else. Which is more towards this, uh, Three of Swords energy that will drive this person nuts. Yeah, they're running away from this, like possible happy situation you know like yeah like there's only one person visible but there are many more in the background mm. hmm this is so interesting so the spoils rewards and item drops Player, is someone going to try to knock you up so you don't try to escape? Because I'm getting that right now. For sure. Okay, let's go on to clarify all of this and see what really needs to be going down, players. Because, like, this path is like... Like, I should have kept going with this path, but I've literally been distracted since, like, episode 5 with the Ace of pentacles and this is the king of pentacles reverse chapter chapter six right and the king of pentacles reverse in my uh deviant moon deck represents more of a person who like has a lot of power but um they when they want their money they want it now and you've been holding out on me where's the fuck's my shit yo where's my money brian where's my money don't make me like beat your ass brian i'm giving you a chance where the fuck's my money you know one of those things where it's like you've been like like you know players you've all been waiting for a real long fucking time to, uh, get, uh, Jesus fucking Christ, like, you'll run home before you suffer another one of these again, that's for damn sure. Alright, the energy is guiding you right now. Let's see what we can get with that. Like, you're not trying to, I feel like, you don't have any, like, real thought, I don't think you have any faith whatsoever in this situation, because someone hasn't put enough effort in for you to want to wait. You know, yeah, they keep dropping the fucking swords on your shit. It's just like, what the fuck, man? Like, 
for real? Yeah, they keep disappointing you when it comes to your happiness. Like, you're the guy sitting here, right? Being like, yeah, I'm, we're all having a good time, but you know what would be even better? If we had a fire in a house. If we had a house, that would be fucking good. Cool, like, everyone else is cool in the woods, but it's like, you kind of want more. You're just like, can we do something a little bit more investment where we Like, there's a house right in the background, and it's for sale. Why don't we go for that? And they're just like, no, nah, we're good in the woods. We're fine in the woods. No worries. But it's going to rain. It's a clear, starry night. You can even see cups in the sky. That's because our neighbors are throwing shit on us. But, you know, whatever. I guess it doesn't matter. Like, they want you to just be happy, but I feel like you're not, you know. Uh, but it's because, like, they don't want to be single either. Mm. What influences this energy? There is a three of cups scenario with this king of swords. He's got his back to all the talk, but he's not really saying anything back about it. Mainly because, like, he's getting something out of it and leaving shit for the rest. Because, and then, like, acting like he's doing you a fucking favor. Like, motherfucker, you took what you wanted, and then, like, you're leaving everything else to rot, and then you expect to be, like, be treated like a fucking favor. You're treating somebody like a favor, like they're gonna run home to daddy. There's that energy once again. Someone thinks that, like, somebody should be, like, dependent on them, which is, like, excuse me? Nobody should have to depend on anybody unless it's absolutely fucking necessary. Not because, you know, it makes logical sense or for whatever reason. It's like, you know, if you love somebody, whatever. But, like, don't you try to, like, put... you Don't you try to put your happiness on somebody else's, like, de being there for you. Because that's not fair to that person. And it's totally not fair to you. And it's completely unfucking healthy And you need to stop it. Get some help, you know? That's what I gotta say to that. Because I feel like that's there in that energy, right? Would the NPCs see they'll get a broken heart and be crazy? They might try treat they might start treating you like a fucking gnome with this offer. Page of Pentacles again, but it's reversed. Like here's a gnome walking up. Be like, you want this little guy? Kapow! There you go. Now you can have it. I just wanted to bitch you out for a little bit, that's all, for making me have to worry about it. At least that's what I see. Mmm. They'll kick you while you're down. Either they think that you're treating them like a gnome and not carrying their problems for them, or they're doing this for you, player. Like, they should be giving you something, and they're giving you the minimal, but they're also giving you some bullshit, and then, like, throwing your swords that they were supposed to help carry onto the beach for you on the shore, and then just going away to do whatever the fuck they want to do. Hmm. It's like they're mad that like either they're mad because you don't give enough shit about the problems that they create in their lives or they don't give a shit enough about the problems that you've created in your life. Either way, this is not an investment. This is just a, a fucking insult to injury. I'm trying one more on that just because it's aggravating the shit out of me. And I think it's justified. And I think it's justified. Okay, that's nice. All right. What's their aggro? What is with their aggro trigger? Like they'll try to play a role where they're like they're loving and they're the best thing ever, but is it really that, or do they have a fucking grudge? Holy shit! Like it, I mean, that's not that's terrifying. Actually, that's actually rather terrifying because it's like they're all in their feelings, but they're trying to portray that they're not almost like they're the best things in sliced bread and that they're a wish come true for you that and now they're getting all sour because the shit's starting to bite them back in the ass Ew. whatever npcs you're messing with players they are um getting more and more aggravated more aggroed because they're noticing that, like, they played themselves coming in with, like, fucking words and shit. Mind you, where, wa where was it? Did, they, did I lay it down? No, but it did show up. The Knight of Swords, they do come in with words. But now it's like, you know, with their aggro triggers, the more that they get triggered, the more emotional they're going to get. And the more it's going to be visible that whatever the fuck they've been saying or using to keep you at bay or attack you and shit, they're going to fuck themselves up because you're going to catch them up on their bullshit and be like, um, no, that's not what you said and you did this and you did that. 
Isn't that what you just did like five fucking minutes ago and now you're making this fucking ag accusations and shit, right? And then they're just gonna look at you. Probably like, what the fuck? And then like on the inside, they're gonna be boiling because it's just like, why isn't this shit not working? You know? This person's got problems and it's like they want you to take care of them. And then like, it's like they get mad because you don't. Just like up here, they're probably still expecting you to carry their swords for them, or they won't carry your sword, and then they're surprised that you aren't doing it, and they're looking at you like you're an asshole. But in reality, they're always coming in, being aggroed, because they're realizing their fucking uh, words and manipulations aren't working the way it used to, because the Queen of Cups can be very, very fucking manipulative when she wants to be. Hell, in the original Rider Waite, I say she's like Glenn Close from Fatal Attraction, who will go and find your child's bunny and boil it in your house just to make your child sob, just to fuck with you. That's the kind of crazy we're dealing with. But they're going crazy now because their shit is not effective anymore. They're starting to lose the power to play with your shit right they keep breaking your heart because they won't put any effort in but now they're getting mad because you're coming out of the fucking spell this could easily be someone who put a tag lock on you or did the whole, something with your fucking drinks or whatever and now that shit's starting to wear off you know it's like i always say like you know if you're gonna curse or you're gonna hex or you're gonna jinx people you know that shit only works for a certain amount of time like you know like spells can only affect people depending on what the spell is and if you keep casting it over and over that person gains a tolerance to your um influences right you can only influence a person so much and even then still you have to influence somebody into doing something they would have naturally done to fucking begin with. Like, magic doesn't work against the, the laws of nature or against people's free wills. Let's be clear. That's, like, that's not how magic works at all. You can't just force someone to do something like that. Unless it's hoodoo or voodoo, and that's a completely different story, which I have nothing to do with. I only borrow some of that shit. I don't fuck with it. Sometimes. But yeah... This person's mad because you're not falling for their shit anymore. Like, they could say whatever. It's almost like they're angry that, like, you're expecting them to, like, step up, players. I think these NPCs are comfortable with you taking care of them rather than them taking care of themselves. And now you're in this energy, like, bitch, where's my money? You know, like, you're kind of done with it. And they're noticing it, and that's what's getting them really riled. Like, you're not falling for their bullshit anymore. Alright, so, the cheat codes and walkthroughs. Empress ain't happy, and she wants to fucking leave. Six of Swords. You know. Hmm. Eight of Swords? Like, someone's gonna get saved? I wanna be saved. Like I, I don't know where the fuck that came from. Who the fuck sings that? Somebody sings that. Just like that. Who the fuck? I don't know who that is. But that's the. Hmm. Someone might be trying. Someone might help you escape, players, if you take the necessary steps to go. Someone's gonna come up while you're in this mental condition and just start cutting you out the rope. Like, what up, babe? I like them tits. You can't see my tits. I know. I can only see your beautiful face and hear your sweet voice and blah, 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 blah. Like, you know, being real smooth like a fucking hero. Like, hey. You think the sword's big. Wait till, you know, like, what are those things? Like, I don't even think this person's even that kind of charming nature. But you don't know who they are either, but it's gonna be someone who's gonna help you and you might not even know who it is just yet. Mmm. What? Are you blind to what they're doing? Because this is like King of Pentacles again. And once again, he's reversed, right? But this is like sabotage King of Pentacles. Not lazy, unrooted, lying motherfucker King of Pentacles who doesn't provide for shit. This dude can provide for shit, but he sabotages his shit by rubbing it on the bowl and in the bullshit and then get handed it to somebody. Players, your cheat code and walkthrough might be information or an understanding that whoever it is 
that's coming up being like, you know, I'm helping you, I'm doing this, blah, 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 is really somebody who's just sabotaging you and setting you up. And isn't helping really as much as they claim to do, you know? Like, they'll keep acting like they're your savior as long as you don't expect too much from them. That's funny. Not really, but that's not... Well, yeah, it kind of is. Alright, hidden levels, bonuses, or influences, players. Minimal effort, minimum words. Once again, this person only puts in the minimum effort. And even then, it's kind of shit effort if you're just going to sit there talking shit. And then, like, not even support a person for reals. Mentally, anyway, because I feel like that's what it is. It's like, if this person's, like, handing you shit over, or, you know, they, they, uh, I feel like they'll just kick you when you're down because they don't want to carry your burden, but they think it's justified in it. Or they think that that's what you're doing and they're justified in their actions. Ooh, shit. Well, you got a slight book it. Let's see. Secrets are coming out whether somebody wants, someone's coming for some secrets, y'all. Yeah. Because there's been a lack of communication and healing in the situation, right? This empress, who's been, like, throwing her shit around all pissed off and shit, you know, she's trying to get her ducks in a row. But it seems like, you know, she keeps tripping over shit, or someone's tripping over, like, putting actions into play. The Knight of Wands, again, they keep tripping over shit, and then they end up shooting another fucking horse, because it's like, that's what you get for playing in the damn desert in the moon sand, motherfucker. You know, leading to a third-party situation, possibly, that leads to a breakup, or someone breaking an addictive behavior of some sort, which might be successful and lead to, like, some potential here, right? But, this, or is that what this person's doing with all of these words? They give the minimum, but they try to make it sound like it's fucking awesome with their sweet music, but it's still page energy. It's just like, that's not mature enough. That's not enough. And that's the key word, enough. If you're not doing enough, don't ask for, don't expect someone to do more for you than you will for them, you know? So what's this hidden levels, bonuses, or influences, y'all? Yeah, that shit needs to come to a fucking end. The Wheel of Fortune once again. Halt this shit, get on the bus, go away. Like someone's gonna watch someone leave with the door wide open. Or a player, you're sitting there waiting to go, but you're trying to leave the door open for them. It's like you might possibly be stalling for time for them. Or they expect you to stall time and get on the boat with them, but it's just like you're not really... Mm. Like, they'll drop swords on you because they think that you should be happy in this situation. They get upset because their words aren't working for you anymore. And they want to stall for time to keep you from, like, being on the move with the Four of Wands. This person doesn't want you moving forward at all. This person wants you to stay right where you are. Right where you're at. A feeling of stagnation and stalling. Just being dead in the fucking road. Not turning the key. And not driving out. This person's like, let's just stay here. We don't have air conditioning. It's 90 degrees and I want to move. Well, I don't feel ready to move yet. Motherfucker, then get the fuck out the car. Like, I got shit to do. I got to pee. They got a sale of alcohol at the nearest drugstore. And I need my fucking liquor, for fuck's sakes. Final bot. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Hidden treasures and enemies. This past situation is over because this person is stuck. Somebody, I, I remember saying to somebody, who was it? It was a particular Zodiac, and I can't remember what it is, but it was like someone's sucking them dry, and I feel like this person gets energy from that. Like someone's noticing that back in the this past situation where someone's getting like alleviated, uplifted, that's a past situation that needs to end. Judgment call! Some people are getting called, and some people are going back in the casket as fucking weird-ass skeleton decorations for Halloween. That's what we do, right? And someone needs to pour their emotions out. You might be this person, you know. Because at this point, how many times are you going to... How many? How, you're at nine. Cats have nine lives. How many times are you going to fight this dragon? And which sword are you going to fucking pick today? Because if, I, if, I, if I've seen this clearly, someone can't sleep because they're fucking tortured, bothered, guilt-tripped, any of that shit, right? They got things on their brain. They got worries. And it's fucking with them. Nine of swords, once again, also up here. There's no thoughts and prayers in this situation. But it seems like someone wants to keep you there. 
you have to possibly make a judgment call that like you gotta let this shit go, man. If this is you. Or this person just needs to get rid of all this emotional baggage that they're bringing on you, too. Just dump their shit. <sighs> Final boss and their weakness. Feeling like they're justified not putting effort in. Feeling justified that they don't have to because they're the king of pentacles. Sorry, I'm heated today. It's just. Mm. What's up with it? This final boss and their weakness. They don't want to end things. They don't want things to die. Even though over here, I think it's time for things to die with the hidden levels, bonuses, or influences. just to let that bird fly to be like look 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 let's just let's just ignore this let's have a discussion we can keep waiting for whatever but they're not gonna put any effort in but they were but they're ready for fucking words they're ready to say whatever to get you to um not kill this shit players Man, I should have done this months ago. I really should have. Spoils, item drops, and rewards. I'm sorry I'm sounding so fucking dickish today. It's just been a day. You know, it's not every day when I realize that somebody that I trust a lot shows me that they won't listen to me or let me take the lead in something for once, you know? Like, that's the situation I'm kind of dealing with and that's what inspired me to do this and why I started watching it again because I've been wanting to do this for a while. But the person I got dealing with with my own um, game in this situation, right? I've been trying for months to compromise and rather than this person compromising with me back you know they just sit there and wait for fucking shit to say you know I'm, I'm just you know I'm, I'm slightly aggravated you know just slightly just just a teeny bit miffed which is why this reading is kind of necessary because honestly this shit's been stalling me up it was Capricorn that's what it was. It was Capricorn when I said that someone was sucking them dry. That's right. I totally forgot. That's who that was. Shit. Anyway, sorry for rejecting my shit, but, you know, this is part of the chapter, and I don't think I'm wrong in this at all. So, yeah, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Spoils. I don't drop rewards. Let's see. planted a seed in you, players. It makes you want to walk away from something you thought was emotionally fulfilling. Now, I don't know if this will work or not. It doesn't seem like it, because it seems like shabby fucking work. Hmm. Or maybe you're running away from it, and they notice that nothing's working, and they're hearing negative shit. Or they try to keep you pinned to their attention, like, you know, come here, you. Come, come here. Come here. There you go. There you go. Like, look, get off that. Thank you. Look at this card, right? This bitch literally has her legs under this dude's butt and staring directly at his face so he can't leave. It's like a mesmerizing thing. And it's like, that shit probably won't work anymore. So they might just start saying some nonsense just to get you in the fight mode. Or you could say that, like, you know, things aren't working out, and then they go in the fight mode because they're hearing shit they don't want to hear. They're hearing shit that's aggroing them. What's the next level about, please, with this ten of... 
wait, no, that's a, yeah, well, that's a 10. It is a 10, but it's the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Like, things being at a standstill, stalling. The Emperor, sorry, it's on the wrong side. He likes his pets. He likes his pet, his only pet. And he doesn't want to start anything new. Let's lay out some... Hmm. That's what's going on in this chapter, player. They're figuring out that, like, you're basically, like, over the shit or whatever, right? And I don't think they like that at all. But, you know, uh, too bad, but whatever. Um... But well, that's what I definitely pick up in this chapter. And let me be clear. If I hadn't watched the last chapter today, I would have never uh, uh, realized I needed to do this today. So for anybody who's offended, I apologize. But, uh... Damn. You know, it's very, it's rare that my cards call me out and tell me shit that I already know. To such a fucking extent. Hopefully it's the same with you guys. And this helps you out too. So that was the reading for players. If you enjoyed this, like, share, subscribe. It's not the most popular thing. But it is fun to keep up with if you're on this Matrix journey. Just as I am. Because this is part of my journey too. So. I will see you guys later. I love your faces. Please take care. Also, fuck this guy. Because he never wants to do anything. Too. Just letting you know. Alright, I love you guys. See you later. Bye-bye.